Hey everyone, it's me, Vinny. Um, I'm now filming on my new Canon EOS Rebel 16i. Um, and I'm using a makeshift stand only because I have to get to the store and uh, get a new one. Uh, I mean one for the camera. Um, anyways, I am sorry I have not made a video in a while. I'm also still pending on uploading a ton of videos. It's just been really busy with work, school, and cosmetology class. Um, but anyways, um, I thought, because I've gotten a lot of good feedback from my other videos on uh, hair tutorials and... I'm going to shut the door because my dog might be barking. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I've gotten a lot of good feedback on my other hair tutorial video uh, to do like a wavy hair look for men um, that I did. So this look is going to be a little bit different. If you can tell, my hair is not only a little bit redder, but it is also um, smoother. I did a keratin treatment and I'll get probably do a video explaining that later. The keratin treatment actually is a smoothing treatment. It will add keratin to the hair and you use high heat to bond it. It makes your hair very smooth. It's good for the summertime when it tends to get frizzier. And I just use a blow dryer and gently just blow, blow, blew it out. I didn't really do anything too special and within five minutes my hair was nice and smooth. Keratin treatments really quick also do remove color, so my hair actually got lighter, which I was happy because it's this nice, still kind of cool tone red, um, but very autumn-like. Today's video, though, I'm going to be showing everyone how to do a smooth man bun. And normally a man bun, you can pull it back like that or go back like this. I'm going to technically do two looks. This is going to be a smoother look, and I'll be teaching you guys how to use a smoothing iron or the generic term, a hair straightener. Um, but from a professional standpoint, they're actually called smoothing irons, um, or even think straightening irons. So to do this look, you're going to want to have hair um, that has been obviously blow dried. You never want to use one of these wet because that can really damage your hair. You also want to spray your hair down with heat protectant, and I did. I used uh, Rusk thermal protectant, and I brushed it through with a, I just use a natural bristle brush. So when you're straightening hair, you always want to start in the bottom. And I just make a rough section. And I even have a, I think I have a clip somewhere. Maybe a brush. Hmm. So you're always going to want to start with a rough section. And I'll be right back because I forgot something. All right, everyone, I am back. Um, how to get a comb. But this is a basic, what they call a rat tail comb or a metal tail comb. Um, and what I do is I just do a rough section, starting in the back. And the cool thing with this is that, you know, like most people have people film them when they're doing their hair. I don't need to do that because this is a look that you're actually gonna be able to do on your own. And what you're gonna wanna do is because no one's doing my hair for me. If this makes sense, you're gonna take your comb, and what I do is I take sections that are kind of small, no bigger than the width of the, uh, the plates in the iron. And then what I do is I go in and I, and I smooth, and then I follow my iron right here, and I pull it down just like so. What you're not gonna wanna do is do the comb first and then the iron because you're actually gonna brush the hair as you smooth and that's gonna create a really gross um, frizz look and that may even make the hair appear to be um, kinda like damaged even if it's healthy. I know on bleached hair if you do that you can actually break the hair off. And the reason why we kinda tap a little bit is because you don't wanna be holding the iron down at the root. You kinda wanna like going, I usually do one, two, three, and then I smooth down. Because the, the, I call it the root area, but it's probably called the regrowth. The root area is what uh, needs the most heat usually. And when you're smoothing hair like this, because I have a keratin, it smooths pretty easy. Um, with the uh, keratin treatment, it does make hair all really, really easy and low maintenance to smooth. 
And I didn't do it here because I had bad habit, but usually the comb should be facing like that. Um, Another thing, if you're smoothing out your hair and you do see a gas escape, it's not your hair burning because I have a lot of people that get scared when they see that. It's actually uh, the products that, if you had a little extra, it's evaporating. And smooth hair can be good for many different events. Now, maybe you're going to a party, um, could be something like a, a formal thing or Maybe you just want smooth hair because I know when I was younger and I was in um, middle school and high school, I had wavy hair and I always hated it. So I would actually smooth out my hair so much so that a lot of people didn't even know I had wavy hair until they saw me um, either out at work or in uh, college. So it was pretty cool that I went um, quite a few years. Uh, I just didn't like my natural wavy hair. But now I do and now I kind of just flop around that I mean, flop around with different styles and textures because, let's face it, especially when you're learning about hair, it's really fun because it's the fun, science-y, um, the, I mean, with the fun end of science. And I'm sorry if I can't speak today. I've been pretty tired. And the clip just kind of roughly sectioned the hair away like that, and you're going to do the same. Um, you don't have to be too precise about this. Especially if you have a keratin done, because the hair will actually kind of smooth out on its own. And it's funny, because when I got the keratin, everyone was like rushing to touch my hair. There was one lady at the bar I went to, where I was there with my friends, and she was a stylist herself, and she walks up and she goes, this may sound like a weird question, but can I feel your hair? And I was like, yeah, go ahead. So she feels my hair and she goes, oh my gosh, it's the best hair I've ever seen, this and that. And we got to talk more and it was funny because she's a stylist and she, when she found out I'm going to hair school um, on the side, because it also does help pay for grad school, she was just elated. So we were chatting for quite a bit about different uh, products and processes. And sometimes in the back, what I'll normally do is just kind of hold the hair straight and just smooth it out a few times. There's nothing necessarily wrong with that. It's just that if you have wavy hair or you don't have a keratin, chances are your hair is not gonna get as smooth as you want. Um, another thing with the temperature of the iron, it's hard to see, but I'm using the Cricut. It's called the Cricut Tourmaline 450. It's a black uh, tourmaline ceramic iron. It's got the uh, heat switch, so you can dial up to 450. Um, on regular, average, um, coarse or thick hair, I don't recommend you do 450. Because what you're going to find is that you're going to actually be probably picking off the hair that fell on the floor because it's that hot. It will actually burn right through your hair. The only time I use a 450 is if someone has really coarse uh, afro-like hair or if you're doing a keratin treatment because you need a 450. For myself, I use like a 380. 380, um, if I didn't have a keratin, I probably would do 390 only because I do have very... Uh, coarse and thick hair naturally and it is pretty resistant to a lot of stuff and the good thing with keratin is because the uh, root area is pretty um, smooth you don't have to get in there like you would if your hair was wavy and you can even use the end of the comb to kind of help you get like a rough section. Also in the video, comment down below um, if there's any other style videos you want me to do or maybe do like a different uh, iron video because I do have my mannequin and what I am gonna be doing soon is probably doing a video on some basic tools, maybe some old school ones like crimpers, and I'm gonna be using the mannequin to show you guys what this finished style looks like. Also tell me, do you guys like this color uh, better for the fall? Because I always do a little bit different. Um, I mean, I always do different formulas. 
for the seasons. Also a keratin treatment because I'm sure some of you guys are going to ask, uh, what did I use? I did Lazio. Um, and I actually let my class do it. I was the model for the day and they did an absolutely wonderful job. It was just so interesting too because I've only had one other keratin before and that was uh, by Coppola. And um, with the keratin it does kind of smell funky after. Also, if you guys don't, because I know some people like to watch like the hair being styled. Um, if you guys get bored, feel free just to go to the end of the tutorial. I know some people like watching the hair get styled all the way because the more you watch, the easier something was going to be for you, especially with hair. When I started learning how to do um, styling, it took me the longest time to learn and it just was so much of um, me watching other videos, watching my instructor do it on the mannequin. And then as I watched, the more I watched, the easier it became because I started understanding like I'm a visual learner. Some people may be a little bit more, um, what is it called, written or like reading learners. All right, so now that I'm pretty much almost done with this side, and if this is on my natural hair, the smoothness would not last, and the funny thing would be with um, getting the uh, root area smooth, it wouldn't stay smooth and it would be taking me up to 35 to 40 minutes. Um, this only takes, I'm gonna probably time it, I'd say around like 10, 15. I'd probably stick with 15. Alright, now I'm going to just do this side too. I kind of saved the back for last because the back is a pain in the butt. And these tutorials are actually made for you to straighten your, or straighten your hair on your own. So when you're doing it on your own, it can be a pain in the butt. Um, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do this like a pro. It actually has been a while since I last used a smoothing iron. Um, so I was a little rusty, rusty at first. Um, but when I used them back in uh, high school and middle school, I was such a pro that I could flat iron my hair in the morning in flat out like 10 minutes. I would just kind of blow dry it uh, when I showered um, before I went to bed and then I, when I would blow dry it smooth, I would go in and I would um, in the morning just smooth it out for 10 minutes. And I would use like a, instead of a spray, I would, well, I would do a spray but then I would use a uh, what they call like a heat, not a heat protecting wax, the texturizing wax. And what I found with using a texturizing wax on the previous haircut I had was that it brought out the choppy pieces and that in the humid weather, the wax would kind of act as a buffer so the water wouldn't like penetrate my hair. But there also are many different products you can use um, for smoothness. You could use Brazilian, um, it's like, I don't know what they call it, but it's like a gel like thing you put in the hair when it's wet and it helps it stay smoother, longer.
Also, what you can do um, is with the sectioning, after you uh, smooth smaller sections, you can just go in with like a bigger one and just kind of smooth them down. That's perfectly fine to do. Um, there really is, well, there is wrong ways to smooth your hair, um, but you don't have to always follow my method of using the comb like this. Um, it's just that this gives you the more sleeker, smoother results. And I found it to be better and quicker. It's also basically the professional way that we do things, and I really want to educate you guys, uh, even if you're not going to hair school, how to kind of get I mean, how to get professional results at home. Um, because let's face it, we're not going to go to a salon for a basic styling session, um, especially if we don't have the money for that. That's going to be a pain in the butt. So, but I do recommend going to the stylist for um, a haircut because I cannot cut my hair on my own. What I do is I go to my one favorite stylist and she is the absolute best because she knows how to cut my hair type. Um, but color I pretty much do my own and I am a professional so you can take my word with color. Even though I am a professional with cutting, I'm actually not the best at it and the funny thing is we always joke in my class because anything color, I'll end up doing the most advanced things because I've been doing hair color uh, for years before I was a professional. Just learning even from professionals, I would learn from them from watching either YouTube or my stylist. And it was just so amazing because when you immerse yourself in that, you really do pick it up quicker. And when you have the passion, you pick it up even quicker than before. But let's face it, you definitely have to have a passion, especially if you're going to go into the uh, cosmetology field. My favorite is when I either do a style on someone or a keratin and someone had really coarse hair and they have that nice, smooth, sleek result. I like, I live for that priceless look on their face of just pure joy and happiness because that's what makes being a hairstylist so rewarding is we actually make people's lives manageable with their hair. We make them feel better about themselves and when they feel better, they tend to act better. I used to have, I actually had a few clients that were a little bit cranky and then when I started fixing up their hair and I made them look 10 times better on the outside, they actually got better on the inside and they started acting better so it's, it's always pretty cool, you know, like what this does. It's a very powerful thing, I think, actually. And I just kind of go in and like fine tune some of the areas that I want to smooth out a little bit more. And then what I normally do is when it cools, when you flat iron your hair or smooth your hair, you don't want to take a brush and automatically go through it because the hair, you just put heat on it and it's got to cool down and the cooling will actually set your style in place. If you have, don't have a keratin or you don't have like a straight perm known as a thio relaxer or even a Japanese smoothing treatment, you're not going to want to do a look like this and then go outside when it's raining because just the humidity, if you do keep it covered, will cause your texture to come back. And I've been there, done that quite a few times and my hair looked like a mess. So this is one look that you can do, is I just kind of run my fingers through it. Um, I call it the sleek and smooth look. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm saying, um, oh my goodness, I'm tired. Um, so this is the finished result of just the sleek and smooth look. I'm going to try to get close if you can see. It's got a lot of light to it, it's got sheen to it. Um, I don't really put anything in my hair after because I do have naturally um, oily hair and it does give it that shine. But you can do some styling aids, maybe um, some oils. I personally don't go for them too much. Here's the back. And you can have your hair sit on your shoulders like this. You just kind of split it in the back. Or you can push it all the way back and you'll have an all over just smooth result. So now what you can do is get a hair tie like this. If you want to do a man bun, I do a, I try to get close to a middle part and I don't always get perfect. So I just kind of do a rough, what I call a guesstimate, 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 something like that. So I do it right in the center, like here. And then I take it almost like I put my hair back in a ponytail with my dominant hand, which is my right I can actually use both. And that's a fun fact. I was born left was made right and now I can use both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hair with the elastic, use my hand that's holding my hair and I'm going to feed it through the elastic. When I got all my hair in there, 
I'm going to twist. Then with the same hand, pull it through the elastic or the hair tie. And this is just one way to do the man bun. I call it the center part one. And it'll look like something like this. You can kind of adjust the elastic to how smooth or how thick you want it. I don't like to do my man bun too tight because too much of uh, pulling your hair back too tight is never good for the scalp. So I just do like a little bit of like a low swept man bun uh, with an elastic that's kind of bigger. And this is one look you can do. And another look you can do would be to actually take your hair and smooth it all back and you can use a comb to help you. And you're gonna kinda do the same. With one hand, hold the hair. The other hand, hold the elastic. Grab it with the hand holding the elastic. Then the other hand that was holding the hair when you let go, using the elastic, pull it through. And you can adjust it, but it's gonna look something like this. This is more of like a center look. Um, just kind of a different style overall for the man bun. The other one's kind of like the sides only, and this one is everything back. So this is another smooth look you can do. As opposed to when I had wavy hair, there'd be some flyaways, some frizz, and with that, it'd be very difficult for me to pull my hair back because it'd be looking like my hair was breaking off or it was um, just too frizzy. And with the smooth look, you can actually see up close. It's very sleek, very shiny, very smooth. It looks very healthy. And it's good for, you know, like the color matches autumn, so I get a lot of compliments when I go out and I have my hair in this style. And sometimes I like to let a little of the straight piece come down just for some texture. Um, but if you don't like that, what you can do is actually kind of wrap the hair around and like tuck it in. But this is all customizable, so there's really no like right or wrong way to do this. It's really your preference and especially with your hair. And I'm sorry if this video is so long, um, but this is just the basics on how to use a smoothing iron. Um, if you have any questions, you want me to do a video on something, maybe talk about a product. This iron is, I got it a few years ago actually, uh, back in like 2012 I think. So wow, that's been about four years. So this iron's about four years old. You can probably get it cheap on Amazon. It's the Tourmaline 450. Or if you have a friend that has a hair license, have them get this at a Salon Centric or Cosmoprof. They definitely sell these there. And it is a great smoothing iron. Um, I like it a lot. Um, I also use the metal one, but I'll do another video on the different types. So without further ado, that is the end of my video. Um, comment, like, subscribe, tell me what you think.